Okay, um, I'm, uh, I'm quite um, honored to have this opportunity to share some of my uh, thoughts and methodologies, um, especially thanks to uh, uh, Yossi Orin. Um, actually, we are having some academic cooperation with um, fantastic Yossi Orin. So uh, I would like to briefly um, introduce, so uh, let, let me keep, keep a time. Yes, time. So I, uh, this is my outline. Um, uh, uh, I would like first to introduce some uh, IoT threat and uh, especially the clone, clone, clonable um, threat and uh, the counter mirrors and some of the, uh, my methodologies as a uh, security researcher. Um, so this is a quote from the Honorable Richard Wesley Hemming. And he said, in science, oh, wait, wait. In science, if you know what you are doing, you should not be doing it. And in engineering, if you do know what you're doing, you should not be doing it. So I think this exactly uh, is the sentence that you need to, or may, you may want to throw back at your funders uh, if necessary. Um, and um, I come from Alibaba Group, and uh, I'm a, uh, my uh, scope includes uh, the security and safety. I, I think you may have already know from the last, uh, oh, the, 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 um, Mr. A.V. Barkai, he had, given a fantastic um, view of the security that prevents system from outside harm and the uh, safety. Uh, so, but uh, apart from that, I recently um, cares more about privacy and policy, especially that some hackers can do um, to, to make it happen by leveraging policies. So, uh, uh, as we know, IoT, um, has so many threads. So uh, I'd like to, you, uh, to show you this picture. It's actually a uh, um, verbatim translation of this is tiger uh, symbol. So what is tiger, tiger symbol? It's a uh, unclonable token to command the army. So uh, if you are uh, 1000 before Christmas, uh, BC, and if, if, if the uh, emperor want to command the army to move from one place to another place, he will give this thing, only the, uh, one part of that to a commander. Um, as you know, uh, in, in the Asian years, the fastest communication method is probably by horse, right? So um, people have to show that I think this is pretty much like the uh, condition that we will meet in the Mars, right? Maybe uh, Mars, they have 15 minutes. You, you, you may should probably carry one of this. And um, the other thing is from 1897, there is a book called The Secret Societies in China. What is this? So this one um, is a uh, paper token. So Mm, if you are a secret member of a secret society, um, you have to prove that you are, uh, you, you, you have something. So I think this paper is a very easily made, but a uh, hundred years ago, it's very difficult to clone because without camera, you, with only human, pure human memory in a short amount of time, who can actually memorize this, right? I think, um, I think th this have, has a lot of challenge and response pairs. For example, if, if you want to challenge someone, you just, um, you, you, you just choose a symbol, right? And to, to check if he has this one, this correct symbol, then you know uh, he's one of us or we should kill him, right? So uh, the next thing is that it's it happened um, in, it's, it's my story actually. Um, maybe two or three years ago, one of my friend 
Um, he happens to be a cryptographer. So uh, he told me that he is in a conference and it's about some um, crypto chip, right? But I don't have the opportunity to register for the conference. So he sent me a picture of the badge. Um, so I color picked it by Photoshop and I've, I find out a strap, a, a strap um, a, for, from my uh, bag and I just clone it. So uh, this one is pure, <laughs> actually I don't know if you can see this. This one is a pure uh, fake one. But after all, um, the conference is free of charge. So I think this is a very cool way to walk into the conference full of cryptographers and uh, without being noticed. It's very uh, interesting thing. Um, uh, so uh, I what I want to say that this is all a balance of cost because if you want to um, clone such a badge that at first is free of charge. So uh, maybe the conference host may uh, think, be my guest. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, the next part I want to introduce is that, so uh, we are in the world of Internet of Things devices and there are so many um, buzzword, like, uh, like uh, actually they, the devices are quite everywhere, like sensors, actuators, um, and they are very fragmented type of operating system chips and uh, communication types. Um, furthermore, they are computational and power constrained. Uh, they are constrained. So um, I think clonable is uh, um, yet another problem in my uh, uh, experiments yeah, because an adversary may even abuse the resource of a cloud server with a cloned devices. Um, furthermore, I think um, if you want to manufacture a batch of IoT devices, you have to send it to a factory, right? But what if the factory cannot be trusted and you, can't, uh, you don't know how many devices they are making? Maybe, uh, after all, you cannot distinguish it from, uh, from, from by yourself. So uh, the industrial methods to identify devices includes, um, first uh, is, is IP addresses. But I think it's, um, we all know that IP addresses doesn't work because yeah, VPNs, proxies, right? And uh, for the MAC addresses, I think um, people have been using MAC addresses as a identifiers uh, for a long time, but I don't think it's, um, for, for example, it's temporable. Um, if you ever used OpenWRT, you can find that in the fifth partition of the flash, uh, you can find at the head of the partition, there is MAC address. You can simply change it by uh, DD space IF equal blah, 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 and uh, the MAC address can be changed. So the MAC address is a pure, uh, product of good old days because they are thinking that um, vendors and users are good people. Uh, the MAC address is for their own help to avoid conflict. And another thing is uh, land scanning that um, recently iOS has been permitted um, to uh, that some application is requesting a uh, privilege to do land scanning. Um, but I think uh, it's, it's not good behavior after all. And um, if, if you uh, ch um, ever checked this link, it's fingerprint.js. It uses a lot of uh, different aspects of data, such as your browser's size, um, maybe your uh, your, your desktop version or a, blob, a, a lot of common things can be used to uh, do browser fingerprint. But luckily Firefox is very angry at that and uh, try to protect us. So, uh, and I love Firefox very much. And 
The other uh, methods recently I found is that, or maybe not recently, a few years ago, um, it's called um, sensor defects, such as micro electromechanical systems, and like um, gyroscope and accelerometer in your cell phone. But they are not very accurate. Suppose you want to, uh, you, you, you want to track this iPhone, you have to, uh, you have to make it buzz and uh, to find the correct or, or emit an ultrasound to find the uh, uh, resonating uh, frequency of a MEMS sensor. But I think it's not very accurate. Um, the next thing, maybe uh, the camera PRNU is called uh, photo uh, response non uniformity. But um, it, 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 it extracts patterns from a picture that you take and uh, before upload to the cloud. But I, I don't know uh, if it is, uh, it is practical or is, is engineering deployable. So uh, uh, currently we are working together with uh, Yossi Orin and on physically uh, unclonable function. So what is PATH? Uh, take this SRAM cell as an example. You know, this can be thought as a latch that carries only one bit. This is actually a SRAM cell. When it's power on, you know, this is a total balanced, maybe I should. This is a total balanced uh, architecture. So uh, when the power on, whether it's carrying bit one or bit zero is unpredictable. Actually, 80% uh, of a, uh, a piece of SRAM memory uh, is, 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 is constantly biased to either one or zero, but the other 20% of it is, um, uh, you can use it as randomness. So uh, this figure, um, uh, the x axis is actually uh, how many times we, um, uh, like this is uh, eight, after eight times, these cells are constant. You, you can see that this is around 84%. And uh, if you do the difference from O, do the difference from only one uh, against another, oh, you can see it's around 95%. So uh, the problem is that, uh, or the challenge is that you have to uh, take this as noisy data. You have to deal with like the temperature and mag mag uh, magnetic things. And th those are common mode noise. And furthermore, you have to think about the aging problems. and um, Furthermore, there are deployment things such as no one wants to do the modification of a uh, bootloader code. After all, you, this is pretty much like modifying the engine during um, sitting on the plane. So not a single engineering team would like to do that because they will probably breaking your uh, batch, like 10,000, 100,000 batch of uh, devices. Uh, so uh, the other deployment challenge is the system capacity. You have to do a very fast search um, algorithm so that you can uh, meet your requirement from the engineering team. And the uh, most important thing is that um, we have to think that some of uh, most commonly used SRAM path is actually a strong path, a, a weak path. And um, a weak path means you have a limited numbers of challenge response pairs. And uh, you, uh, if, you, if you can make it a strong path that you can um, expand the scope of the SRAM path. I think this is a very interesting um, topic to research. So uh, uh, 
After that, I want to share a few thoughts about my research uh, and uh, my security research methodologies um, by sharing this example. Um, actually, it's, it's 2016, the year, and I was poking around about a, a commercial off the shelf. Actually, it's, it's GGI, Jones. Its type is Phantom 2. So I would like to check um, I, I tear up the uh, remote controllers and I found that the radio chip is RFMD ML2730. So I, um, uh, on his manual, I found this equation that uh, converts the frequency numbers to a channel number. So um, I used a software defined radio like HackRF, it only has 20 megahertz bandwidth, but I cannot um, catch, capture the whole um, frequency range. So uh, I borrowed a real-time signal analyzer and I captured all of the, um, the, the, the frequency numbers. And I um, captured the frequency channel numbers. It's like 25, 11, 34, but I didn't uh, get a clue of this number at first. So um, this is a very interesting design back, uh, I think it's back can be traced back to World War II because a frequency hooping uh, mechanism can spread a signal band extremely, like for like the, in this case it's around 10 kilohertz to 100 megahertz. So it's becoming very uh, uh, difficult to capture using chip devices. So um, I uh, plotted, I even printed uh, and do some lines. I think it's, um, maybe we can already see the pattern uh, inside it. So uh, the equation, the problem, the mystery is this is only minus 14 and modulo 36. The 36 is the total numbers of a channel. And the 14, I'm, maybe you can consider it as a, uh, um, a shared secret or, or maybe some other things. So um, uh, this is an original work back in, but we, we don't want to publish because I don't think this has so many um, meanings. But I want to share here because I, after that I found uh, um, uh, last year, some researchers already do a system, systematic research about this frequency hooping mechanism. So um, the other thing is that during that research, I found that the DJI Phantom 2, yeah, this device can be paired with exactly a commercial off the shelf remote controller. This uh, brand is Futaba, it's a Japanese pen, a brand. Um, it's, it can be, uh, it's very popular in 1980s. Um, back then, every uh, Jones used that. So uh, my discussion is why they use this kind of pattern. Um, the answer is the DJI people, they are not aliens. And this product is not built by aliens. So they have to buy um, as cheap as they can from the market, from like, like the, um, in this, this case is RFMD, this chip, it's a radio chip, and this chip may be the vendor of Taba. So, um, so I think this, uh, ca uh, this case tells us that um, trace the money and think from the money may be a very interesting uh, point to select your uh, research direction because um, you are facing uh, like engineering teams, they are, they are human. They have to like do everything a human can do. Uh, okay, the, the next thing I want to show you that uh, this is a click farm. You have already probably um, know that there, there are um, so many humans are doing that for profit. And uh, just to be interesting to, to notice that they, have, they are sharing the same angle to the ground, yes? 
like the cosine theta. So um, if you want to use some MEMS sensors like, like accelerometer, uh, maybe this is a way to um, identify a farm that doing some clicks. And this picture is quite interesting that this is actually a, um, like uh, a, a viewer's numbers. Um, it happens a month ago that one of my friend, he just make a music video and upload it to a, a, a domestic video, uh, like, like YouTube website. And um, I was just curious that I just uh, fire up an Excel table and write down each of the number. And I found uh, this during this period, I was actually sleeping. And after that, I found it, within half an hour, the numbers bump. So I checked with my friends. I said, did you, did you ever hire a click farm? And he said, yes. And the number exactly is 10,000. Yeah, yes, 10K, right? So um, I would like to say in this picture that during this, um, this event, there are actually three different um, people. They are all benefit from, from this, such like, like the website operators and uh, the advertisers, and even my friend, he, um, he's the originators. So uh, after all this, I don't think this um, is a um, security, um, pure security uh, problem anymore. I think it can be considered as economic problem. Maybe you should, um, you, you should do something about it. Uh, and the next thing I want to say is that this is a private disaster I observed back in 2018 in Germany. Um, actually, it's a art design to, to, to warn you that the toilet may be, uh, they are not actually filming the toilet. Um, they are uh, using this television uh, to, to play some faked videotape that's just uh, for, I think it's not for fun, it's for your good. Because um, after all, as a security researcher, that nowadays the privacy violation is everywhere. So um, there are other examples like, uh, like the email read receipt or the read status indicator in an inter instant message. So um, is that rude or ethical? So um, I don't have a clue, but I, I, I try to um, warn you about this um, trend that people are actually thinking that um, privacy is a very luxury commodity. If you want, to, uh, want to, to protect your privacy, you have to pay extra money. I don't know if this is a good design or um, we can do something about that. So uh, like a few years ago, we audited the circuit behavior of Amazon Echo's mute button. Um, you know, a microphone is a is a RLC equivalent circuit, right? After it's discharged, the capacitor part of it will uh, discharge very slowly. So we observe that within 60 seconds, uh, you can still hear the data from the microphone with ADC. But I don't think Amazon is, uh, I think Amazon is doing everything they can to protect the, uh, people's privacy. But, you know, um, you, if you don't trust it, you have to, uh, you, you cannot sell it. You, you cannot sell it to some people that don't trust it. Um, so the next thing is that um, um, maybe uh, I will speed up a little bit. Uh, so um, I think a, a very interesting trend of being a hacker is we can find something, um, we can do something that is very low cost. For example, uh, like the RTL SDR uh, is uh, around uh, $30 and uh, it um, help a whole branch of uh, people, generation of people to enjoy the software defined radio. And uh, recently I found there is a TX brother of it, is a VGA 
emitter, it's an adapter, and some other uh, cost hackers. And, um, and there is another thing, uh, I think, apart from the type of cost hackers, the policy hackers, uh, like back in 2018, there is a keynote uh, that a former leader of Project Zero, uh, uh, Parisa, she said, she used a constant, consistent 90 days disclosure policy so that the internal teams don't have the uh, negotiation problem. So that they know after 90 days, people will be known the bug. So I think this is a very uh, example of a policy hacker that she leveraged the policy to make things happen. And um, the ultimate productivity hacker, I think this is a final and the ultimate goal of being a hacker is being productivity, have productivity. So Stephen Wolfram, the software Mathematica, the author, and uh, he is, this blog, blog post uh, of him is very uh, um, mind blowing and very, very cool to see that Actually, I can, I can, I don't know if I have one, okay. Wait. Yes, yes, it's here, here. Okay. So this, uh, this hero, um, he even, he has a lot of productivity hacks and uh, he said that the ultimate hack of his career is build up a company that satisfy his producti productivity needs. So, uh, so the, uh, the other productivity hacks we can learn from open source people that um, like, like you can use some tools to speed up your writing um, process. And um, by the way, uh, it's very uh, good to talk about that make file. You can use it, um, not only works for C program language, you can use it anywhere. Actually, it's very good to use it with pure bash. It, um, it's changed my life uh, in the recent, uh, in, in the last year. So make file, you definitely worth to try. And um, <clears throat> open source people also has so much powerful information gathering and process skills. They use Mbox for everything. And uh, you, you can even, I, I just put the conclusion here, but I don't have time to, 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 to detail. But I think you have, uh, you, you need, at least you need to see the film, the internet's own boy. And they think uh, the story of Aaron Swartz and um, he may uh, co-author the RSS standard, and he even created the tool called RS to email. Um, I'm currently using it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not using uh, like the, um, uh, the Google Reader because it's dead and other RS readers. I, I converted totally to this thing. I think it's very interesting to use. <clears throat> and for RSS as a filter, your own version of, you can use this, this one. And uh, from the community of uh, the Tor leader, uh, he said what's, what makes a good tech community is productive and helpful. So um, the final words, I want to say as a security researcher that um, you, you, you have to keep in mind that you, your, your, your debt, your destiny or your value is being helpful. Like from this uh, uh, director's cut version of the movie Kingdom of Heaven, um, I, re I recall that is King of Jerusalem um, told a knight that you have to protect the hapless and then maybe one day when I am hapless, you will come and protect me. So uh, this is my, uh, Humble thoughts maybe will be helpful to you. Thank you.